Hello everyone. Welcome to the fourth CIVI 391 Soils Lab experiment. The topic of this experiment will be grain size analysis using the hydrometer method. Again, the lab manual, section 1, Soils Lab, is a required resource for the completion of this experiment. For this experiment, the equipment required is as follows. Two 1,000 milliliter graduated cylinders, a 151H model hydrometer, beaker containing 50 grams of dry mass of soil passing the number 200 sieve, soil dispersion device, dispersion agent, a thermometer, spatula, plastic squeeze bottle with distilled water, a stopwatch, and a number 12 rubber stopper. To begin this procedure, first pour distilled water into the control cylinder up to the 1000 milliliter mark. Place the hydrometer and the thermometer into it. Pour 125 milliliters of Calgon solution into the second cylinder, the sedimentation cylinder, and fill with distilled water up to the 1000 milliliter mark. Cap the sedimentation cylinder and shake. Carefully take out the hydrometer from the control cylinder and insert it into the sedimentation cylinder. Allow the hydrometer to come to the temperature of the liquid. This should take about 60 seconds. Take the hydrometer reading at the upper meniscus, see figure 13 in your lab manual, this reading is the composite correction, CCL at the current temperature, T1, of the liquid. This is illustrated in figure 13. Transfer the hydrometer into the control cylinder. Take the temperature of the liquid using the thermometer. Since the composite correction varies with the test temperature, a second composite correction at a different temperature will be required. Due to the time limitation, this value will be provided to you. These two values will be used to interpolate the composite correction if required. Empty the sedimentation cylinder and clean it properly. A container in which a soil sample has been soaking in a Calgon solution will be provided. Pour the entire contents of this into a malt mixer, washing the contents carefully using the distilled water squeeze bottle, ensuring that no sample is lost during the transfer. Mix the solution for approximately 10 minutes. Next, cap the sedimentation cylinder with a number 12 rubber stopper and carefully agitate by turning the cylinder upside down and back 60 turns for a period of 1 minute. Note that turning upside down and back are 2 turns. Set the sedimentation cylinder down and remove the stopper to check that no soil particles are attached to it or on the cylinder above the 1000 milliliter mark. If there is soil, Restopper the cylinder and agitate sufficiently to dislodge the particles back into solution. To begin the test, set the sedimentation cylinder down and immediately start counting the time. To take the hydrometer reading, take out the hydrometer from the control cylinder and insert it into the sedimentation cylinder, 30 seconds before the reading is due. Take the first reading at 2 minutes. After taking the reading, lift the hydrometer out of the soil suspension and place it in the control cylinder with a gentle spinning motion. Be very careful when spinning the hydrometer. Insert the thermometer and take the temperature of the soil suspension. Do not leave the thermometer in the sedimentation cylinder. Continue to take hydrometer readings and temperature at 4, 8, 16, 32, 60 and 90 minutes. The fourth soils experiment,
grain size analysis hydrometer method is now completed. Next time, we will briefly discuss the classification of soils. Right.